What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. We got ourselves a weakness policy Guzzlord team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for the support. But Guzzlord rocking out in this front spot. And this team right here has been going around ranked for a little bit now considering it was one of the top teams used in the most recent Pokemon tournament. But Guzzlord is amazing. It has one of the highest base HPs in the game. It actually might have the highest base HP. Might be top dog in that category. Because when you Dynamax it, we have 600 and 60 HP. It is incredible. It is just unheard of. This thing has Beast Boost ability, Weakness Policy, Dark Pulse and Draco Meteor for Stab, and Sludge Bomb for coverage and to protect as its fourth move. Right next to it, we got another Ultra Beast. We got Celesteal with the Misty Seeds that pair well with Top of Finny's Misty Surge. We got Beast Boost ability, Protect, Heavy Slam, EQ, and Leech Seed. Top of Finny right behind my face cam, one of the best Pokemon in the new Series 7 with that Life Orb, Misty Surge ability, Protect, Moon Blast, Muddy Water, and Ice Beam. Such a good Pokemon, so viable and good on every team. Amoongus right next to it, Amoongus still rocks out in the Series 7 with Regenerator and Expert Belt, Protect, Spore, Rage Powder, and Sludge Bomb. Nothing really new for Amoongus. Bottom left, we got a normal Pokemon. We got Incineroar over here, Intimidate, a Guap Berry, Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, and Snarl to lower Special Attack. Then in the final spot, Duskoss, we're going to be using him probably in most matches considering he is our Trick Room Pokemon. And this team is rather slow, so they're going to thrive on that Trick Room with the Frisk, Evil Light, and then moveset of Nightshade. Pain Split, Brick Break, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself, I highly recommend it. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I was using this on my stream. If you guys want to check out my streams, link is in the description below, Gene25 on Twitch. But I was using it over there, and I was actually doing pretty good on the rank ladder in Master Ball tier, getting some wins. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and get some wins for our YouTube channel. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy actually has Reggie Rock on the team. One of the Pokemons that I haven't seen on the rank ladder, especially in Master Ball tier, which is pretty cool. Getting to see some new Pokemon over here. He also has Raichu, Galarian Moltres, Tapu Fini, Kartana, and Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat has been getting some love in the new rank Series 7, so that's pretty cool. Um, who should we rock out into? Who should we rock out into? I feel like he's going to lead the... Uh... I feel like Moltres is definitely coming in. I feel like Moltres is definitely coming in. Moltres is an absolute monster. Uh, I got to lead the Dust Cops. I kind of want to lead this uh, Incineroar at the same time. So we could go for a Fake Out and possibly set up a Trick Room easily. He doesn't look like, like, does any of these Pokemon really learn Taunt? I know Tapu Finny does. So I do gotta watch out for Tapu Finny here. Um, hmm. Well, in that case, I could just pick up the Tapu Finny. So I'm gonna go Incineroar. I'm gonna bring Guzzlord in the back end. And then I think we go the Finsters in the final spot. Because Tapu Finny is so good. So strong. But I did not know Tapu Finny did learn Taunt. I forget. I was, uh, live streaming a battle. And it was Tapu Finny and, uh, Tornadus. That's who it was. That, those were my opposing Pokemon's, uh, lead Pokemon. And I was just like, okay, I know Tornadus learns Taunt. So I'm just going to fake that thing out and set up a trick room easily. But the Tapu Finny taunt at me and I was like, bruh, what you mean? I didn't even know that like Tapu Finny can actually taunt. So that's actually good to know now. So if you guys are ever curious about it, now you know. Now you know. But rank battles, y'all, dude. I've been having, uh, I've been having, I think Series 7 really uh, changed up this game, especially for the online scene. It's been in a better way, in a better way. I've been loving it so much. This new Pokemon, there's so many different options we can use. But you can go Raichu and Moltres. That's, that's a fair lead. I kind of, kind of was predicting that. I knew Raichu was definitely going to beat it, and I was just like, Moltres is not a bad start either. But, uh, do I fake out the Moltres? Like, we should be able to eat up a shot, no problem. Because he's probably going to fake out, outspeed me. I'm going to fake out the Moltres. 100%. I'm at least going to go for it. He might Dynamax that. And does he trigger weakness policy? Does he trigger weakness policy? Now, that, that's, a, now that's a tough move. Now, is he going to trigger weakness policy? Do I just swap? I might swap into Guzzlord and then parting shot over onto the, uh, or just Snarl. Because that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to trigger weakness policy. Or do we think he's going to fake out? It could be weakness policy. And then he just rolls out on me. That's his, That could be exactly what he's doing. Um, watch. I'm, I'm just going to go with, uh. I'm just gonna go with Snarl because I think he's gonna Dynamax Moltres and he's just gonna fake me out regardless. Let's see. Yeah, he's Dynamax. Dude, he's just weak this policy. Man, dude, he's gonna double my Dust Clops. He's gonna double my Dust Clops. I should have swapped it to my Guzzlord. Should have went with my gut, man. Should have went with my gut. But if he's not weak this policy, we should be fine in setting up this Trick Room. Should be chilling. Because if I can get this Trick Room up, yo, we're thriving. We are thriving. Man. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're doing. Here. What's he going for? Okay, he's gonna go for a fake out. You know, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm cool with this. Max Target's coming in. 
that's totally fine. Uh, Dust Cop should be able to eat up, no problem. And uh, we should be able to get off the Trick Room. Wonderful. Cool. We're thriving now. We're thriving. Trick Room's going to be popping. I can just snarl up. I'm going to pain split next turn and snarl. And just try to keep Dust Cops alive. Actually, I'm going to party shot. I'm going to party shot and get out my boy. I am going to party shot my Incineroar. Oh, no, they're going to outspeed me. He's going to try to dump on me again. I'm going to get out Guzzler. But I'm definitely going to party shot. I'm going to pain split over onto you. And then definitely just party shot and get out my Guzzy. Get out Guzzy Guz. Lower this thing's special attack because that's going to be his big attacker. I gotta get out my guzz, Lord. Pain split. Give me that HP, baby. Give it to me. Give it up, dog. Give it up. And then Incineroar should go next. We're part of the shot. We're gonna minus one on the special attack board, which is huge. Which is huge. Get out of my face. And there's no way. He's gotta be going after my Dust Cops to finish it off, right? There's no way you're going after Guzzy. There's no way you're going after Guzzy. Let's see what he does. Let's, let's see the play. Let's see the play. He's gonna go for another max darkness. That should go after my dust cops slot. Yep. This has a one and two. Dust cops eats. If I can survive one turn with this dust cops, we're thriving. We're thriving. Because I just need to set up a brick break and then I can roll out with Guzzlord. Weakness policy proc. And then uh I'm getting beast boost and dominate out this match. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a reflect. Okay, yo, I'm totally chilling with that. I'm totally fine with that. Totally cool with that. Okay, now brick break. He has no first turn priority moves into my Guzzlord. And then we can just actually just Dynamax and go for Darkness. I could go for Darkness. I'm going to go for a Warm One. I think I'm going to go for the Warm One. Just to get big old stab damage over on the Moltres. Do we think we're going to KO this thing? I think it's going to be close. Plus two on a Dynamax Moltres. We'll see. We'll see. But Guzzler coming in here. 660 HP. Are you guys kidding me? I, I don't think I used a Pokemon with higher HP than this before. I think the highest I ever used was Lapras. And I think they, they got up to like the 500. I'm not too sure. But yo, Guzzler. HP is stacked. And he has... Razor Sharp Mouth. Look at this thing. It's an absolute tank and it hits like a truck. If I can get one kill with it, we'll just beast boost out and we should be able to just run this match. But dude, he guards. My boy guards. Alright, so free break break over on me. He's probably gonna nuzzle up on me or maybe get off a light screen. Let's see what happens. But his Dynamax turns are over, so that's gonna work well for us. Please policy broken. And one of going to miss or get at least get blocked. Smart play by him. Waste the turn of our Dynamax. And then he's going to go for a Volt Switch out. And I'm actually cool with that. I'm going to get out Incineroar so I have a Fake Out. Dust Cops did his job already. We got Trick Room for the rest of our Dynamax turns. And we got, uh... And we got, uh, Incineroar coming out here for another Intimidate drop. Does he have anybody with competitive? I'm trying to think of a team. He had Reggie Rock. He had... What else he had? Okay, we're... Uh, so do I still go out into that? Or do I go into Finny? Finny's not a bad play. I think I'm just going to go into Incineroar. Drop a Fake Out. And then go after that Glarian Moltres slot. Take that thing out and get a Beast Boost. And go from there. Or I could just Snarl. I could just Snarl this turn. Because Rotom could protect. Because if I can start Snarling down that Rotom and just take it out for the, for the match. What is the play? What is the play? I think I'd rather just fake out and take out Moltres. We're going to fake out here. And then what other Pokemon does he have? So he has a Raichu. And does he have any... He could go in the top of Finny. So I really don't want to throw a dragon move here. I think I'm just going to play it safe with a Goose. I really don't want to throw a dragon move just in case to swap. So we're going to the darkness. I just boost my special attack myself. I'm just going to go into an ooze. I'm just going to go into an ooze. Boost my special attack myself because I don't want to swap Finny. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Into the top of Finny. Oh, Cartana's the final spot. Okay. Cartana's the final spot. So we could have went into a warm one, but still. I I'm just gonna protect, that's fair. And what's called is Slubber. Our time is gonna protect next turn. Dude, this dude's actually playing really well. Swaps and protects. Boost comes out and doesn't affect my card Dude, there's no way you read that. There's no way you read that. You're nuts. You're nuts, my dude. Um, I'm just gonna flare boots over here and then I'm gonna darkness. And then over on this side. Alright, let's hit it. Let's roll here. We should have. This should be our last turn trick. I need a KO here. This is finally. We get a turn off. We get a turn off. We use policy was proc. And he cannot survive for any much longer. And the Rotom is going to drop. We're going to get the Beast Boost. We're going to thrive out from there. And he quit. And he quit. Awesome, yo. All those turns for nothing. He just turned off his switch. He knew it was over. Guzzlord's making people quit. Now we can hop into our second battle and try to get a win streak rolling with this squad. I didn't think our last opponent was really sitting in a bad position. I mean, we took out his Rotom there and his Kartana with a Flare Blitz. But Trick Room ended 
he had a fake out with a Raichu and he had a Glary Moltres still in the back end. So he could have actually maybe did some work and possibly pull out the win. But we made him turn off his console. We said, get out my face. You're dumb. But we're going up into our second battle with Jellyfish, dude. I forget this uh, Ultra Beast name, but he got the Jellyfish Ultra Beast alongside with Charizard, Wimscott, Torkoal, Landorus, and uh, Thunderous. Okay, so pretty strong team right here. Everybody knows Charizard is an absolute beast. Um, he has Taunt with the Wimscott, so I definitely got to uh, go Incineroar and Dust Cops again. For a pick I think we go same squad. Go Guzzy and Finny again? I think that's totally fine. He has to Intimidate, which won't uh, do anything really to my uh, Guzzler because we're special attacking. Same thing with Finny. Um, hmm. The only thing is that Torko is going to really thrive under that trick then. And he has Taunt, but then I could just fake out the Wimscott, no problem. I, th I think we're fine. I think we're fine with getting up Trick Room. Uh, unless that Jellyfish can actually learn Trick Room. Or imprison it. I don't I don't really know what that Jellyfish does. I never use it. I don't even know what it's typing. All I know is it's Jellyfish and it looks absolutely phenomenal. It just reminds me of uh, the first stage in a... Uh, in a uh, battle for Bikini Bottom in the SpongeBob SquarePants game for PlayStation, it just reminds me of King Jellyfish for some reason, or the Jellyfish from Finding Nemo that uh, Dory and Marlin are bounced across. That's just, that's just what it reminds me of. But it goes Whimsy and Char. That's totally fine. We're gonna pick out the Whimscott and definitely get off a, uh, a what's it called a trick room, and then just roll from there. I think we're fine, man. And then I can just start snarling up, snarl Marlin up. Intimidate. Is there an Intimidate that works for special attackers? There should be an ability like that, but I I don't think there is. Like, why make one for just physical attacking when there could be one for special attacking? But I feel like there's so many more special attacking Pokemon. I feel like that just be, I feel like that just be a broken ability at that point. But Trick Room's safe to go into because we are just going to fake you out, kind sir. We're just going to fake out Whimsy Whims, and we should be able to get off an easy uh, Trick Room. And he's probably going to Dynamax his Charizard. Then I can just snarl, 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 snarl. snarl. And just lever special attack. Or I can just part and shot like I did last game. Get out Guzzy Guz. And roll from there. But this is like that main lead for this team. I've been really thriving with this lead. Just going Incineroar and Dust Cops. And then eventually parting shot or letting one of them die out. Getting out Guzzlord and then rolling from there. Usually I like the parting shot or something along those lines. Like uh, be able to get off that brick break. But typically they'll go after. Oh, so okay. Fake out's not going to work. He's going to bring out Torx. He's going to bring out Torx, skis. That's not bad. That is not bad to bring out the Torx. He's gonna raise the heat. And he's gonna Dynamax the Charizard. He's not gonna Dynamax it. Okay. Okay. What's he going for Blast Burn? Does he have it? He has Heat Wave. Okay. It's, it's easy eats, maybe. It's easy eats. Trick Room up for free. We ain't playing around. He might Dynamax the Torkoal, and that's gonna be a scary little mod there. Trick Room's gonna pop. Uh, I really don't want it to Eruption. But do I Nightshade or Pain Split it? Solar Power's coming out on that Charizard, and he's gonna start thriving here. He's gonna be able to pick up the Double Hill. Um, hmm. I think I just know I gotta I gotta start knocking down a torque a little bit. And if I can get off this, I could get off this snarl. Should be thriving. The so nightshade. We gotta do damage on this thing. I think that's a fact. We gotta do some damage on this thing before the eruption comes out. Yeah. The eruption coming out here. And Cinnamore should be able to eat up. I don't think the Dust Cops will. Dust Cops does on one. Snarl's able to come out here. Beautiful. We're we're not gonna be able to proc weakness policy, which is kinda tough news. Because he's going to take us out with Heat Wave. He's obviously going for Heat Wave. Unless Dust Cops dodges it. Scorching Sands are going to never... Gonna, oh, he's going after just my Incineroar. And that's going to take me out. Um, okay. I'm going to get out Guzzler. I'm going to get out Guzzler. I'm going to proc weakness policy. None of these guys have first turn priority turns. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yo, Dust Cops surviving on one. Being able to get out Guzzy Guz. And do I take out Torkoal? I don't really see Torkoal as a threat anymore. I don't really see him as a threat anymore. But I got to take out somebody. Let's go, fight. We brick breaking, dog. We brick breaking, and I'm gonna get after this. I'm gonna Dynamax and do I ooze? I'm gonna definitely ooze here. Get a double boost. Uh, do I go after Charizard slot or Torkoal slot? Who do I take out? Again, I don't really think Torkoal's really posing a big threat to me anymore. Not as much. Because the eruption won't really do too, too much. Yeah. He's gonna withdraw Torkoal. Good call by Jeans. Good call by Jeans. Whimsy's coming right back out. Right back out. Brick Break's going to slap. Charizard's going to go down here. We're going to get plus two from Weakness Policy, plus one from Beast Boost, and plus one special attack from Max Ooze. And this game is pretty much over. It's pretty much over, man. Oh my lord, yo. Jeans is eating today. He's eating, yo. Dude, this Guzzler team has been my favorite one, or the one I've been playing the best with in Season 7. This thing is so good. And it's not too hard to learn. It's pretty easy to set up and roll from there. But Charizard's going to protect. I still hope that we do take it out here. Like, I really do hope we take it out here. Brick Break coming out here. Wow. Give me my policy full of weaknesses. 
Give it to me, baby. Fill me up. Feed me more, baby. <laughs> I'm hoping we still take it out. It's not stab, but... I don't know. Let's see. I don't think we are. Take it out. E! No, we do not get the KO. He protects, but still. Plus three now? Come on, man. And Duskops will have to be next turn. So I can just Nightshade there and ooze on the other side and go plus five. Solar power. That actually might take it out. E! I definitely Nightshade that. Nightshade! Actually, I'm let Solar Power take it out. This thing's gonna be sashed all day. It's gonna be sashed all day, so I'd rather just ooze over on this side and have Solar Power take that thing out. Just do it like that, because I know Guzzler's gonna be able to eat up all day. And we still have Finny in the back. We still got the Finsters in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we're thriving. This guy doesn't really know what to do here. Make sure you're gonna pop a beer. I see this thing being sashed, so I'd rather go after that. Like this. Take him out. Get mine now. I'm plus five. I am plus five. Because I'm going to get plus one from the kill and one from the ooze. Get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face, dude. Solar power should take out Charizard. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We're thriving. I think a heat wave is going to pop through. He's going to look for a burn and uh, take out the best cops at the same time. Beast boosting. Bro, dude, Guzzlord? Like, he's not to be played around with. He's not to be played around with. He eats that up no problem. Such a good beast. I think he's the best Ultra Beast. There he goes. This thing goes down to solar power. And now it comes down to uh, Torkoal and his final mod. And he still has a Dynamax, but I can just start one tapping. I got this. I got this, my Tapu Fini back. And Tapu Fini is so fire, man. So fire. Guzzlord is, will not be the slowest. He might Dynamax Torkoal. If I see anything, Torkoal's going to come out here for the Dynamax. Because we still have Trick Room. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Which gives me a free dumping. A free dumping wumping. But yeah, there goes Shiny Boy. I think I just dropped a Muddy Water. Uh, do work on Torkoal and then uh, drop my big attack over onto the Thunderous. I think that's the play. But I know Torkoal has protect and he might actually drop it, but yo, look at these stats. Look at these stats. What more can you ask for? Plus five on special attack. Like, <laughs> bro, <laughs> chill on me, man. Muddy Water's gonna bounce here. And then I think we just go into a stab. I think physical attacking. I'd rather lower special defense in this case and just go stab darkness and roll from there. Let's get it. He's going to Dynamax one of them. I think he might actually Dynamax the Torkoal over the Thunderous, but I hope he does Dynamax the Thunderous and doesn't go into a max card. Because in that case, it's out of my face. It's game over. But that's his last chance. He might actually Dynamax the Thunderous and go into like an attacking move. Let's see what he does. But if he doesn't, like if he doesn't take out my Guzzlord this turn, we're thriving. Because Guzzlord or what's what's going to go first? Torkoal. And then after Trick we're going to be able to outspeed Torkoal. Yeah, that's game. He doesn't even Dynamax. He doesn't even Dynamax. What's he doing? What's he doing? In Master Vault here? Doesn't even Dynamax? I, mean, I expect that stuff in Casual Battle. But lower special defense onto the Torkoal. This Muddy Water should be able to clean it up easily, even through the Drought. Beast Boost. We ended on plus six Guzzlord, dude. He's running things left and right. He's not playing around today. Muddy Water pops out here. Top of Finny coming in. Say, yo, get out my face, dog. Get him out of here, yo. 2-0. and oh, Absolutely running people with Guzzler. Made the first guy quit and went plus 6 on the special attack board in battle number 2. Now we can hop into our third and final battle and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming out here. And you guys already know the deal. We are looking for the perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We are looking for it for you guys. This guy has Magmortar. Such cool Pokemon. Rillaboom, Cinderace. Two very, very strong Pokemon. Gotta watch out for that. Landorus, Galarian, Moltres. And Tornadus, this team looks absolutely stacked, not even gonna lie. How should I play this one? How should I roll out? We already showed off this team to a great extent, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, we still have Celeste, Steela, and Amoongus, but you guys kind of already know what they do. Like, I really want to go into that same squad. Like, I, f I feel like I only bring out Celeste, Steela, and Amoongus in certain situations where we really have to use, like, a Follow Me or Spore some Pokemon around. I might actually lead it in Spore. Lead Amoongus and set up a Trick Room. I think that might be the play. Or Intimidate works just as well. Dude, let's do it. I'm going same squad, man. It just can't be tamed right now. I'm trying to look. Like, he cannot stop a trick him. I don't see a taunt Pokemon on this team. Oh, I guess uh, Tornadus has it. Yeah, Tornadus does have it. But I can just fake it out and set up a trick room. Like, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. I could have went to Amoongus and Rage Powder instead, but I feel like uh, what's going to work so much better? Intimidate and Cinderor? Because he has a Rillaboom, Cinderace. He has, uh, what else is physical attacking on that team? I don't even know, I forget. Uh, he has a Landorus? Like, dude. Magmortar, now Magmortar is special attacking, but still, like, Incineroar just thrives so much better. He's going to go Moltres and Magmortar. Can he proc Weasfuzzy? 
Oh my god, yo, shiny Magmora looks amazing. Looking like a raspberry, dude. I just want to pluck him up and just pop him in my mouth, dude. Eat him up, put him in a smoothie. Mmm, mmm. I love me some raspberries, dude. <laughs> but Intimidate's going to pop. Not going to really do much. Oh, he's going to frisk me. Oh, I'm going to frisk him. We see weakness policy in charcoal. Why didn't I just uh, think of that last time when I was versing the Raichu? Just use my frisk. This thing is weakness policy. Can he? He's not going to weakness policy him. No way, because he's choice bandit. But I'm actually just going to fake you out. Or do I snarl? I think I just... I think I just parting shot this turn. And I set up trick room. Maybe one protects. Maybe one protects. See what happens here. He's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna get air from me. Maybe I should have faked out the Magmortar. That might have been a play. I should have faked out the Magmortar. I think we just lost this one. I think we just lost this one. Because if he goes for Mac Darkness, gets a special attack or defense drop, and then it goes to like a Keeper Choice Bandit. A little scary. Why don't you go in after my... Oh, hopefully Mad Mortar protect. Somebody protect, please. No one protect me. E! That's some tough news. Get my desktop for I should've just faked out the... Man, should've just faked out that Mag Mortar. We would've been thriving. I think we just lost this one. I think we just lost this one. Unless we get off this party shot, we're sitting so good. What happens here? Just for an overheat. Onto who? My desktop, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, if I fake that out, that's easy trick room. That's a dumb play by me. That is so dumb by me. I really just thought he was going to go into a protect and we could just start setting up Guzzlord easier. <sighs> jeans, jeans, jeans. What are you doing, kid? What are you doing? I'm going to get out Finny. I think Dyna I think Finny's going to be at be our Dynamax Pokemon here. I think Finny has to come in here and Dynamax up. Finny has the dark move. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. He is choiced into a overheat, so he might swap out here. Can I get Incineroar back out here? I can. That is lovely. That is lovely double. I'll get Incineroar right back out here. And dude, I could have just won this game. I could have just won it with the Guzzle combo, but I really was trying to do something else for you guys. You guys have already seen that. I was trying to just party shot out and make a make a better read, but it didn't work out. I'm going to go for here. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to start snarling. I really do think, uh, Mag Mortar might swap, so there's no point for a fake out. If not, it's minus two already. And I can just keep snarling and run with Moltres, especially, uh, attack. And roll from there. He already is minus one for the party shot. And Mag Mortar is really not that big of a threat anymore. He has to be choice banning into an overheat. But if he wants to drop down and attack again, it's fine by me. I, he's not going to swap, though. That's, again, that's fine by me. Again, he's not a threat. He's not a threat anymore. Like, that one overheat is, it makes him a threat. Now he's minus two. He's just he's just worse and worse each time. How Finny had to be our Dynamax Pokemon. This thing is weakness policy. I do know that. So he is gonna go back to even after his turn. But we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll just see how this plays out. Uh, it's not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. He's gonna go for an airstream. He's gonna boost his speed. We're gonna practice things weakness policy. And Incineroar is going to eat up just dandy candy. Speed's not really a problem here for me or for him. So I don't mind him going into airstreams. I'm more just gonna go for a poke. Uh, didn't it say he's Choice Bandit? Wait a minute. Didn't he say it was Choice Bandit? Unless I read that wrong. I thought he was Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf or something. Some choice. I really did think that. We use Policy Prox. All that coming all day. Um, he's gonna he's gonna go. Actually, he's gonna be plus one, which is kind of scary. He is gonna be plus one. Snarl's coming out. Flop. Lower that back down a little bit. He's going to be plus one, but I forgot about the Berserk ability. When his HP drops below half, he gets a plus one special or special attack. So again, it's down to, uh, it's down to Finny. It's down to Finny. Uh, good Geyser. That rain for me. But I think it's the play. Then just Snarl up again. Again. I really did think this thing was banded all day. We should be able to eat up another Focus Blast and trigger a Wild Berry. This thing is minus three now, so I hope he does go into a Focus Blast again. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do, kind sir. Make a move. We still have Guzzy in the back. Guzzy is, should be fine for eating up a shot. I think guards. That's fine. I think another focus blast is going to come through. Yeah. Should be able to eat. Wild Berry Chin Trigger. It's totally fine. We got another, I think, switch to play. Oh, attack again. Yeah, we do eat. Thank you. Thank you very much. On three. Give me my berry, please. Give me my berry. And then we should be able to eat up yet yeah, another focus blast after eating this berry. <laughs> then he. Misses his geyser, gets blocked. Oh, dude, if I would have went after Magmortar, that would have been tough. That would have been tough, tough. Snarl comes out. 
And here goes this. He's just trying to waste my Dynamax turns here. Which is rather smart. If I can get this Rain Mullen, then, then I, I feel like we, we could be thriving here. Then I feel like we could be thriving. I think I just guys are over here. Again, I'm not worried about the Night Mortar. A parting shot? I think I'm parting shot now. So I can come back out for another fake out late, late game. I think that's a play. I think that's 100% the play. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. We won't trust this is going to go first. He might actually just take out my uh, Incineroar. But if I get a parting shot, ooh, he'll be thriving. Hopefully he misses a focus play, I assume. Just for, oh, okay, he's just going to go for the air slash. That's totally fine by me. So, again, another focus blast coming out here. We eat that up all day. And now I can parting shot, and I get another fake out opportunity. Unless he, actually, no, he might have Cinderace in the back. Cinderace is very, very scary. Guys are going to come out here, take out Mag Mortar. And I do get a parting shot, or no, we're going after Moltres, it's not for long. Should be able to take that out cleanly. We get some rain rolling, and I'm just going to parting shot, bounce out, bring out Guzzy. This is why I've been Cinderace in the back for that Intimidate drop and the fake out later in the match, which could potentially get us to win. Rain is here, so Muddy Water should be able to do some bigger damage. Parting shot coming out here. Lowering this thing's special attack once again. Again, I'm not worried about this thing. As long as he doesn't swap out, I don't think he's going to be swapping out. I think he's just rolling with it. I think he's just rolling with it until it dies out. So, let's bring out Guzzy. Guzzy, Guzz, man. My dude, Guzzlord. Getting after it. Getting after it, Guzzlord. Alright, alright. If we win this one, that's so clutch. That'd be so clutch. That'd be so, this would be amazing plays by me. To still end up winning this game. Go Cinderace, and that was a, a big threat of mine. He has Sucker Punch, I know that. Hopefully it triggers weakness policy. I do have Muddy Water. He's going to change typing before me. And what's he going to change into? Probably Steel. I might just protect this turn. He has Supply. We protect. And then we just Guzzle or Draco Meter. And try to drop this thing. Or now, we're just going to go into a Dark Pulse. Because I really do think he's going to go after my Finny. Seeing that thing as a threat, changing typings along alongside with that. Again, Magmortar. Not even worried about it one bit. Not even close to worried about it. And hopefully someone or hopefully Magmortar triggers my weakness policy with like a focus blast. Right? Or is focus blast not super effective? Let's see. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I know it's super effective against dark types. Let's see, Cinderace or Magmortar's gonna go first. Magmortar outspeeds, I think. I'm gonna go for a focus blast. We eat. And there's a super effective. Dude, if Cinderace goes after Finny, we're thriving. We're thriving. Wings policy procs. He's gonna bounce. Oh, you biscuit, man. He's bouncing. Okay, so muddy water next turn. And then next shot in the scenarios. Okay. Again, dude, I don't see us really being too bad here. I really don't see. I see us both eating up whatever scenarios has to offer. Let me just drop a muddy water. And a dark pulse. <laughs> I seriously think we're sitting fine here. We still have Incineroar in the back. Let's see what you got, kid. He bounced. He bounced. He said, yo, I'm gonna hit the bounce boogie skididdles. I said, yo, dude, that's fine. He's gonna withdraw Magmortar. He, I think he feels like he needs Magmortar here. Roboom's gonna pop. That's totally fine. Um, he still has a fake out. I can protect next turn. I think I'm gonna double protect next turn. He's gonna change the terrain up as well. Let's see what happens. Uh, does Spinny go before that? Let's see who goes first. Bounce can come out. That's fair. I think I double. Oh, my damage. Oh, my, oh, my lord. And you get the paralyzed. Yo, Spinny, you gotta hit this turn. Finny, you gotta hit this turn. Thank you, Finny. Thank you, Finny. I need you this turn. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Cinderace is gonna go down. Awesome. Wonderful. Dark Pulse should pop. And we do get an accuracy drop. Oh, uh, he's gonna fake out my Finny next turn. You gotta fake out my Finny, right? Actually, I think I just double protect next turn. There's a fake out in that Magmortar with the Overheat is gonna come out here. And then, once my Finny goes down, then we uh, bring out Incineroar for a back end uh, fake out. Which I think the back end fake out might actually win this game. I have to protect Finny. I have to protect Finny this turn. I think I just double protect. Where's the fake outs? Because who do I really think? I, I don't really know who the fake out's going to go up against. I think it's going to go after Guzzle. But I still think I double protect. To get a little bit more HP back. Alright, let's double protect. Get a little bit more HP back. I can sludge bomb and take out Roll Boom, no problem. No problem whatsoever. And once they, their, their fake outs are done, then I just get out my boy uh, Incineroar. And I look to finish out this match. He does have Grass Guide, but still, you know, fake out is just gonna rock out for us. This thing's gonna go for a focus blast, and that's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. Uh. Let's 
see. Let's see. Let's see the plays. Let's see the play. I actually probably should have left Finito down there. That focus blast is scary, but I still see us eating it up. You know what I'm saying? So who do I think has to go? I don't think it matters. I just have to take out somebody. I think we just take out Robin. I'm gonna go for the muddy water, and I'm just gonna take out Robin. Cause I, I there's a high chance of us taking out Robin with super effective sludge bomb. Let's see, Robin's gonna go for aggressive guide. <gasps> Finny dodges it from the attack drop. Ankosur dodges it. Oh, get him out of here! That's game. That's game. That's game. They got doo doo mods who can't hit attacks. They got doo doo mods. I still think we we're going to win that game regardless. I think Guzzler would have ate up that focus blast. It's not stab. Get him out of here. Ed's game. GG in the can. Out my face. So this is what I think would have happened. Uh, he takes out Tapu Fini. We take out, uh, or Guzzler eats up uh, focus blast. We take out Roboom. We pick out Magmortar. Take out Magmortar. And it's GG. I am telling you guys right now. Right here. Right now. Rent this team and go use it on the Master Ball or Rank Ladder. I've been absolutely dominated with it. You guys just saw firsthand. We went 3-0, three, oh, three matches in a row. Just absolutely crushing it with the Trick Room, the Guzzlord, and the Tapu Fini in the back. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.